Hello YouTube, this is Chivo Gods with another Xbox 360 video. Um, today I'm going to show you just my five favorite Xbox related websites. Um, this one, EasyXbox360Achievements.com. Um, it's pretty nice. It's got some basic news, not as in depth as other other sites, but the thing that makes this website shine is of course its name says it all it's got these sections over here like um games that take under five hours five to ten hours and so on um of course all of this is simply estimates like the average that it takes it's not definite but uh it's all right definitely not my favorite i'd say my next up would have to be planet xbox 360 now um as with most of the planet websites, this one's pretty nice. It's got uh, lots of news. Um, now this one is pretty much all news. Uh, if the news has been released or if a new trailer or anything, new screenshots have been released, it's gonna be on here. Um, it's pretty nice. Not a whole lot of uh, well, you can get some reviews, previews. Um. But as far as, like, achievement guides, you're not going to find much here. Now, this website, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's 360voice.com. You, you actually, by signing up, you give your Xbox its own mind, and you give it a blog. Uh, This thing, like, right here, like, you get a lot of them like this. It said... Like, my Xbox is talking, my gamer tags, Mr. Bogan Tillett said I had to choose between watching TV and playing with me, and I am happy to say that I won. And it tells you, like, what your gamer score is, how much you got that day, and, um, like it says here, I made some progress on Left 4 Dead, and then it says I won some achievements in Halo 2 PC and completed the game. And it also has another really nice feature called um gamer score challenges and um it basically pairs you with people with uh similar gamer scores and what you do is you just compete to see who can uh get the highest gain of gamer score over a one week time there's auto challenges which start every sunday at midnight or you can create a challenge with someone which is pretty nice of course, they also have badges over here. It's pretty cool. Um, this website, Xbox 360 Achievements. This one's alright. I used to use this one a lot until I show you the website, or the next one. They've got news, lots and lots of achievement guides. Like, that's what they focus primarily on. Um, that's really nice, actually, because... They'll have, like, as games are announced, they'll add them in here, new achievement data. Now, my all-time favorite achievement website, or Xbox 360 website, has to be trueachievements.com. This website has everything, an excellent news feed. Um, it has everything from just casual video game news, as long as it relates to the 360, of course. As new games are announced, new achievement information, um, speculations like right here, the Halo Studios not done with Master Chief, some speculation on a Halo 4, um, it's great, they have this, like, a really outstanding feature on this website, I'll show you my page right here. You'll see, this is my gamer score right here in parentheses, but this is my true achievement score. Now, what they did, the premise behind True Achievements is they say that it's unfair that you can play Avatar for five minutes and get an achievement that's worth, like, 350 gamer score, but yet you spend hours and hours of killing people in Gears of War 2 and only get something like, I forget how much that achievement's worth, but it's not much. Like, you kill 100,000 people and, the, and you only get a little gamer score, or even in Gears of War 1, you kill 10,000, and you only get 50 gamer score, 
they sat down and said, well, that's a little absurd. So they made a system where they track every single gamer in the world that has Xbox Live. They see how many people have the game and then how many people have unlocked certain achievements in each game. And um, the fewer people that have unlocked an achievement, it's decided that those are obviously the harder ones. So it's going to be worth, so naturally it should be worth more because of its difficulty. Which makes it um, have a higher true achievement score. So right here you see I got key to the city. Now as you're going to know, not many people are going to go for this achievement in Gears of, um, not Gears of War, but Grand Theft Auto 4. And it's worth 100 gamer score, but it's worth 336 true achievement points. Just because of its rarity and difficulty. Um, it's also nice, this, I mean... It keeps track of everything, your true achievement score. It got it has your completion percentage um games you've completed. You can write reviews, solutions, uh, vote, post, all kinds of stuff. Uh one feature of this website that I probably use more than anything else. Let's see, you can go here to site pages and go to gaming sessions. Now what this does is People will set it, will write times on a calendar and um, post it on here. And if you need the achievement that they're boosting for, then you can just hop in there and boost it with them. Like, for instance, say I wanted to boost Gears of War 2 Friday at 3 in the morning. <laughs> um,. I could go over here, see if they're boosting for Annex now with Execution, and since it's got a purple background, it means I don't have it. I could go in here and hit Join Session, but, of course, I'm not going to get up at 3 in the morning to play Gears of War 2. But, yeah, these are probably the top 5 best 360 websites that I've seen so far. Um, what I want you to do in the comments leave other great xbox 360 websites whether they just deal about the 360 in general or achievements or whatever just leave those links in the website and i'll check them out and if i like them i'll upload new videos um don't forget to rate comment and subscribe so um yeah thanks everybody i'll see you next time